Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. This is Rick, your North Campus pastor. As a kid, did you ever use the phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me? Well, the Bible says that's actually not true. It matters what you say. It matters what you don't say. It matters how you say it, and it matters how you meant to say it. The thing is, is that you can hurt people with your words, and you can also hurt yourself. Jesus said in Matthew 12 that by our words we will be justified, and by our words we will be condemned. That's why James took time in chapter 3 of his book of the Bible to discuss this. James 3, beginning at verse 2, says, For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits in the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. They, though they are so large, are driven by many winds. They are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast, bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by man. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. What With it we bless our Father, our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessings and cursings. My brothers, these things ought not to be. Verse 2 says, we all will stumble in sin in many ways, but if you can control your tongue and what you say, you can control the rest of your body. Just like a little thing like a bit in the mouth of a horse can control the horse, and just like a little thing like a rudder can control a huge ship, a little thing like the tongue can control the whole body. James says, if you can get your mouth in check, you're able to control other areas of your life too. Proverbs 13, 3 says, He who guards his lips guards his life. So if you're struggling with sins of the flesh, if you want to be more discipled or disciplined in areas of your life, in what you eat or drink, or you want to be more disciplined with your time, James is suggesting that you start with your tongue by watching what you say. If you don't, he says it can set your whole life on fire. I know you may be saying, I want to, but how do I do this? Verse, says, verse 8 says, well, you can't do it on your own. You can't control your tongue by yourselves. We need God's help. And that's why in Psalms 141, verse 3, King David prayed this, Lord, set a guard over my lips. I want to encourage you today. If you want to obey Jesus and be more like him, start by taming the tongue by watching what you say, and make David's prayer your pray, prayer today. Set a guard, O Lord, over my lips today. God bless you, Calvary.